We're learning more about what happened in Louisville, Kentucky, when a shooter killed five of his co-workers. Today, police released body cam video, and what unfolded is distressing and disturbing. CTV's Richard Madden with more. Stop. Stop right here. Back up, back up, back up, back up. New body cam video captures the tension as police rush to the scene of an active shooter at Louisville's old National Bank. Rookie officer Nicholas Wilt is just 10 days into the job, and partner and trainer officer Corey Galloway are first on the scene. From the east side. Galloway takes the lead as the pair try to confront the gunman. Wilt is shot in the head. Galloway is also hit and falls back. A bystander across the street records him remarkably getting back up and re-engaging. Within moments, backup arrives. Galloway eventually shoots and kills former bank employee Connor Sturgeon, armed with an AR-15. I think I got him down. I think he's down. They stopped the threat um, so other lives could be saved. Wilt is recovering from brain surgery. The shooter killed five former colleagues in America's latest mass shooting, becoming all too familiar. Last year, I survived a workplace shooting. And now yesterday, I've lost a very close friend in another workplace shooting. Doctors are also struggling. There's only so many times you can walk into a room and tell someone they're not coming home tomorrow. Investigators confirm the suspect bought his gun legally a week earlier and left an ominous warning the day of the attack. We know he texted or called at least one person to let them know he was suicidal and contemplating harm. But we don't have the tools on the books to deal with someone who is an imminent danger to themselves or to others. According to a new study, one in five Americans say they've had a family member killed by a gun. Calls are growing louder for tougher federal gun laws, but many are pessimistic if Congress will act. Heather. Richard Madden in Washington tonight.